And one of the stories of the reasons I became a doctor is that my grandmother had rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and she had it at a time before we had some of the advanced treatments that we have today. So now our rheumatologists have something called disease modifying agents where they can actually stop some of the destruction that the body is performing on the joints but my grandmother didn't have that at all. So I watched her go from someone who could stand to someone who lived in a wheelchair to someone who was bed bound. And so that, you know, really inspired me to say, you know, I, I want to work in a world where I can at least help treat patients in that situation. Um, and so I have a very special place in my heart for taking care of patients who have inflammatory arthritis. And so this is psoriatic rheumatoid arthritis um, when they get to a point where they need surgical intervention. You know, I, I, I often talk about ways that the U.S. healthcare system is not working out great, but some ways that it is, is the, the research and the development of these miracle drugs um, has really happened, you know, in our system as well. And so, you know, part of the academic mission is doing research, trying to improve. One of the reasons that, you know, our medical school is positioned on the campus here where we can work with research scientists is so that we can develop that next level of treatments. So disease modifying agents for, uh, you know, crippling inflammatory arthritis has really changed uh, these people, the folks' lives. Um, and so I'm, you know, very proud to be part of an organization that does that. One of the things in, you know, in academic medicine is that often patients with the most complicated problems uh, are sent in to, you know, to our care. And so some of the early things that I do is, first of all, like, I've got to connect with you as a human being. Part of my job is to give you as much information as I can about a surgery that you might be thinking about because I'm the expert on that. And you have to share enough information about who you are and what your preferences and values are that we can meet in the middle and we can have a discussion about what's going to be the best option for you. So it's that sharing of information that's paramount. But before you can do that, you have to have the trust, right? And so you, you, know, you have to come in, you have to introduce yourself to a patient, and you have to get to know them a little bit. A lot of times patients have been seen by several physicians and have had several different opinions and it can be really confusing and then they and they come to see me and the first thing I'll often say is like you're home like wherever it goes from here it's me and you